Now let's talk about the hardware requirements for Windows Server 2012. Now keep in mind, you need to memorize these. They will be on the exam in a number of different forms. However, rest assured, they will not ask you what's the minimum processor speed for Windows Server 2012. What they will ask you, they'll show you some scenario and all of the answers will have processors that somehow violate the hardware requirements. So just memorize these, jot them down before you begin your exam, you should be okay. So let's go through them. First of all in the processor, minimum requirement from Microsoft, a 1.4 gigahertz 64-bit processor. Now let me warn you about something here. Windows Server 2012 only comes in a 64-bit version. There is no 32-bit version, so watch for that on the exam. Microsoft recommends a 2 GHz or faster CPU, and they also recommend dual core. Next, or more cores, okay, so dual being the least is what they're recommending. Now in memory, their minimum requirement, don't laugh, 512 megabytes. Nobody wants to do that in the real world, but that is the minimum requirement. Recommended, 2 gigabytes or more. Pay close attention to the or more there because you need it. And then the maximum, watch for this, you could see this on the exam. If you're running uh, Windows Server 2012 standard, that's 32 gigabytes of RAM is the max. And if you're running data center, four terabytes of RAM. Then for disk space, the minimum requirement of disk space to install this, get it running, 32 gigabytes. Microsoft recommends 40 gigabytes for a full install, 10 gigabytes for a server core install. Now that's pretty straightforward, not a whole lot to remember there, so just memorize that little table and you should be okay. Make sure when you go to take this exam that you know both the minimum and the recommended requirements. And always remember that only 64-bit processors are supported and you should be able to navigate questions about hardware requirements pretty easily.